to start streaming on Twitch, you'll need to have an account on Twitch. Guess what that entails? Hit up the Twitch website, twitch.tv, and make an account. Don't get distracted by the live video playing at the top of the site's main page. You can even sign up for Twitch using your Facebook credentials, one button login, here we come. So I already have an account for Twitch I just log in. If you want to get serious about broadcasting, make sure you click on your name in the upper right corner of Twitch's main page. Once you've completed the account creation process and logged in, and click on the settings link. Description feature, Turbo, which removes display ads from the service and gives you some extra chat colors and badges, feel free. We're more concerned with the connections portion of your settings screen. Got it? Let's get broadcasting. Before we even show you the first thing about game broadcasting, let's get the tough talk out of the way. You're going to want to have a decently powerful computer if you want to simultaneously game and stream your gaming accomplishments to the web. Twitch itself suggests that you should be rocking at least an Intel Core i5 2500K CPU, 8GB of DDR3 memory, and an operating system at least as current as Windows 7 Home Premium. Note that we Frame rates are important for the simple sake of having a quality experience to stream, but the prowess of your GPU shouldn't directly affect your streaming capabilities. Hit up the Open Broadcaster software website, download the app, and install it. Once the installation process is complete, the app will automatically fire up. Once loaded, you'll see that the app comes with a single scene already pre-configured for you. A word on that. A scene is basically a single configuration setting, matching a single video source to a single set of options. Right-click within the app's sources box, currently empty, and highlight add with your mouse. Select the game capture option and give it a creative name, then click OK. Adjust your live stream settings. Under broadcast settings, you'll want to select Twitch, Justin.tv under the drop-down menu for streaming service. You'll then want to copy your Twitch stream key to the empty section within Open Broadcaster software. You can find said key by clicking on the big Get Started button underneath the Become a Broadcaster section on Twitch's main web page. Click on the Show Key button on the subsequent page to reveal that which you must copy and paste. Click on Start Streaming. However, you should now have your very own PC gaming stream up and running. Don't forget to jump back into Twitch's dashboard via the same upper right corner drop down menu that you used to access its settings in order to give your broadcast a title. Download links are given below. Thank you for watching and subscribe us for more videos.